What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing another college related video. I have a whole playlist of college related videos. If you want to check those out, I'll make sure to link them down in the description below. But today I wanted to talk about specifically, as you can tell by the title, why I chose SF State. So whether this school is one of the schools that you are considering attending or you just got accepted, whatever the case may be, whatever reason why you're clicking on this video, I wanted to share with you guys my top reasons why I went among many because I know college decisions and choosing a school for college could seem a little bit daunting and it could seem a little bit stressful. So hopefully this just helps you um, eliminate some of that stress and helps you make that decision. So yeah, without further ado, here are my reasons why I chose to go to SF State. So number one is the location. Originally, I thought that I would be going to a school in SoCal just because um, I knew that I wanted to do something along the lines of like film and media. I figured that's where it's at, you know, in SoCal, those are where all the good film schools are at. And I also knew that I wanted to get away from home, but not be too far away from home because I wanted to be able to easily come back for like holidays and birthdays and stuff like that. So that's why I thought like SoCal originally and those were like most of the schools that I was looking into were down there. Backstory, I kind of hated the city growing up. Like I wasn't too impressed by it. Uh, I just remember when I was little, I thought it was like, dirty and just crowded and so i didn't really think that san francisco would be somewhere that i would end up spending the next few years of my life at but the really cool thing about sf state and its location opposed to being somewhere like usf or ucsf is that it really isn't as congested and crowded as other parts of the city sf state is located more towards the daily city side of town so it's a little bit more residential, um, more spaced out, even though you still get like that city vibe and that city feel. Like that's what I found so cool when I visited there is that I still can get that city vibe while not being so in the heart of the city. So yeah, it was just a really cool neighborhood. Um, there's a lot to do around the area. Um, so it's kind of like you're away from like the bulk of the city while also being close enough like a muni drive away from the actual like downtown and city like that so i thought that was really cool so the next reason why i decided to attend sf state is because of my major so as i said i always knew that i was going to go into something along the lines of like film digital media and upon touring the campus i learned that by the tour guide that this school was known for its cinema department and its broadcast department. I knew that I would be in good hands there. I also, the I had a couple of schools that I was really like going back and forth with. So it was SF State, um, CSU Monterey Bay, and then this school in SoCal, uh, Cal Lutheran. And I had already toured Cal Lutheran and the second stop was SF State, and then I was supposed to be going to tour Monterey Bay after that. But after that tour and hearing about the department and how great it was, it kind of just helped me choose. Like right then and there, I kind of knew like, all right, I think I don't really need to go tour Monterey Bay. I think this is kind of where it's at. Um, and it just solidified that decision that I was making the right choice. This was definitely an important factor because I didn't want to go to a school that wasn't going to teach me what I came there for. So having a good program that I can excel in uh, that was relevant to what I wanted to do was really high on my priority list when choosing a school. And rather than paying like the crazy tuition of more prestigious schools like UCLA, Academy of Art, NYU, stuff like that, SF State's program was top tier like up competing with those top tier schools while being a very cheaper price to go to. So if I can get that good quality and get what I came there for while paying a cheaper tuition, I feel like that's a win to me. And so that's why I really decided to go there mainly. San Francisco State actually has two different majors that you could choose from if you are somebody that's 
uh, trying to get into like the film industry and stuff like that. So they have the cinema department and then they have the Becca department, which is the more broadcast department. So Becca stands for broadcast and electronic communication arts. That's the major that I chose and I went to. Um, I actually thought that I chose cinema at first, but I realized that I chose Becca, but you know, there's a reason for everything. Um, and both are really well recognized and really well known. What I will say is like the cinema department is like your micro vision and then the Becca department is kind of like the macro picture. All right, so that brings me to my next point since we're talking about cost and finances. So the next reason why I decided to attend SFSU is because of the cost of attendance. SFSU was just more financially wiser because it is a CSU, a California State University. It is going to be on the cheaper side of tuition, uh, not as cheap, obviously, as going to a junior college, uh, but definitely not as expensive as going to a private or a UC. And then because it was so close to home, like literally just a BART ride away, I knew that I'd be saving a lot of money on transportation um, because I wouldn't have to like worry about paying for flights back home or the train back home. Um, I knew that it would just add up in that way and I would be saving a lot of money on transportation. I was actually offered a couple of scholarships for the schools down in SoCal, but even though I had to take out a small loan for my first year for housing at SFSU, which I could talk about in another video, in the long run, I was actually saving a lot more money by going with this route and um, having to pay for the tuition and housing this way rather than having my tuition paid for down there and having to pay for my other cost of living. My cost of living were a lot cheaper being closer to home and going to a CSU over here and choosing SFSU than if I was to go to a school in SoCal or choose something out of state. Just remember that when choosing a college and thinking about going to college, that it is a financial investment. So remember that, take that into consideration because I know we could get riled up in the excitement of wanting to go to this prestigious school or this dream school that you've always wanted to go to, but you have to be realistic and you have to consider these sort of things because they're gonna be affecting you down the line in the long run. That's not to say that you can't figure things out and that scholarships aren't offered and that there aren't ways you know, to save money and pay for your school if you wanna to go to that dream college that's more expensive, but it's just for you to be aware um, because these are the things that I wish people would be more transparent about and tell people, especially when they're fresh out of high school, they don't really know anything about like financial decisions like this. So I would just make sure that you are aware of that and I wanted to point that out right away. Now this last one didn't play too big of a role in my priorities when choosing the college, but it did help out a lot because I usually take the road less traveled and I'm okay with, you know, being solo dolo. But this last one, um, the last reason why I decided to go there was because I knew other people going there. So I did have a couple of friends, some acquaintances, some people from high school, um, just people that I knew that were attending as well. And it's, it's just always good to know that you have that support there in case you need it. Um, so I knew that if I ever had like a question about something or how something worked or even to like where something is at or how I go about doing this, then I had somebody to refer to to ask those questions that would be in the same boat as me. I do just want to say that don't let the lack of this point discourage you from choosing a school that you know nobody at because I do feel like there are a lot of great benefits to doing that and stepping outside of your comfort zone and getting into new scenery, new environment where you just have a clean slate, a fresh start. Um, I knew that I didn't want to go to a school where I, where it would be like high school all over again, um, which is main, one of the main reasons why I didn't want to go to a junior college because uh, that's where like everybody was going and I didn't want to 
I just didn't want it to be high school all over again, although I had a good high school experience. So don't just like follow your friends and choose a college because that's where everybody's going to. Make sure you are making the right decision for you and what works for you. Uh, because at the end of the day, people can grow apart and you may think that you are like super close with this one person. So I'm going to go to this school because this one person's there and they're my best friend. But like later down the line, you may realize that like, you know, people just grow apart and it's not a bad thing. So keep that in mind once you're considering. But this is just one of the reasons um, why I was like, okay, I feel very comfortable with my decision to go here because I know I'll have that support to lean on. All right, y'all, so that's it for this video. Those are my four reasons why I decided to go to San Francisco State University. I'm very glad that I did end up choosing this school. Um, there were a lot of pros and cons, uh, which I could get into in another video if you guys want me to do like a pros and cons view of San Francisco State. But um, yeah, overall, I'm happy with my decision. I think I made the right decision. I hope that this video helped you if this is one of the schools that you are considering going to. Um, and hopefully it kind of just gives you a perspective. Definitely do your own research. Don't just go off of my word and my reasons. Do your own research when, you know, choosing upon a couple of different schools. And to all my incoming freshmen or my transfer students, good luck to you guys. Even if SF State is not the school that you decide to go to, um, I just wanted to wish you guys the best of luck in your college endeavors. All right, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.